I'd like to know how you came up with this idea. Sure. I came up with the idea after I sold the Fit Deck business. I had a little time on my hands. And I would see consistently parents bickering about this college admission stuff. How did Sally not get into the school with a 4.9 GPA? What should Billy do for extracurriculars? And I got pulled into one of these conversations. And I said, Phil, you got into Harvard Business School. You got into Yale. What does it take to have kids who are competitive for the college admissions process? So I started taking notes, writing best practices, writing lessons learned. Uh, tips, strategies, mindset from the Navy SEALs, professionalism from Goldman Sachs, and the list got long. Then I went back to school to get c credentialed in college admissions counseling, and I put these two things together, and I started coaching and mentoring kids. I have to tell you, sitting here, like, I think it all seems very, very smart. Um, I think that there's just one problem. It's hard to get people to buy into something that's that long, that many months at that price. I feel like if it was more of like a crash course or a course they bought once, then they could buy in, it's, e it's easier. You know, you get more cheaper price point, but to me, I, I don't relate to it in this model. I wish you the best of luck, but I'm out. Thank you, Lori. Here's my view, I remember you last time. It was unbelievably impressive. You have a passion and it keeps you going. Keeps you going maybe past the point where you shouldn't. Two years with 220 users, it's, it, it's not great. I admire the mission, and I applaud you for all the other things you're doing, but I'm out. I don't see this business. A lot of people don't want to adapt. They don't want to change, even when they know what's in their best interest. You're trying to educate people who may not what? feel they need the education. I'm out. You took all the right steps. But the product itself is going to be really tough to scale, right? Because it has to be demonstrated, and it has to be seen, and it has to be experienced, and then it has to be managed after the fact by having the parents involved. That's so much work for a $15 subscription. That's why you have such great challenges and why 220 is not horrible. Mm -hmm. It's certainly not, you know, knocking any walls down. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thank Bill, you. 220 is horrible. And <laughs> I just want to say, as I said last time, you're a really, really great guy with a really, really bad idea this time. This is horrible. You're in, in the top one percentile of people that have come on Shark Tank. Nobody gets invited back. But because of the service you've given your country and your fantastic family, and what a great guy you are, I'm inviting you back again. <laughs> but next time, it's three strikes and you're out. Come back with something better. This sucks. I'm out. Bill, please, we all love you, so come back, and the next business should be how to get on Shark Tank three times. <laughs> <laughs> I will be back Thanks, if guys. need be. Beautiful I appreciate family. all the advice. I hope you come back. Good luck, third Bill. Time's Thank you. Charm. Nice to meet right. you guys. Nice guys. Congrats. Good job. Take care. Hey, listen, I'm a former Navy SEAL, and I'm never going to give up. I could see myself pushing this thing for the next couple years and seeing it through like I did with FitDeck last time and coming back. I'm a, I'm a serial entrepreneur. This is the best place to be in America for entrepreneurship, and I'll take them up on it again.